Chekhov 27, and if you've been living under a cock your whole life, then you probably missed E3 this week. But don't you dare fucking worry. I got you covered. I dropped an entire liter of acid and made sure to take detailed notes of everything I saw. So, let's get fucking started! Ubisoft! Ubisoft came out and apologized in advance for any sexual harassment that is committed by any of their executives to any members of the audience. Then they showed off their big new game with Nintendo. Mario Rabbids 2, a game about a big Italian boy having sex with a rabbit. I will definitely be playing this one with my dick in my hand. But wait, there's more! Assassin's Creed Vagina is getting DLC for people who thought the game wasn't boring enough. But don't forget about Far Cry 6. I can't tell you if this game's gonna be any fun, but I can tell you that it's gonna be a Far Cry game. And I guess they're making a... Avatar game? And I'm not talking about Jeff Bezos with weird tattoos and uncontrollable gas. I'm talking Smurfs, but big, and they fuck with their hair. Look, I'm all for animal fucking, but this is probably just gonna be Far Cry, but with blue people. Was that racist? British hippo noises. Yeah, no, I'm probably fine. Gearbox! Now this one was good because they took us to fucking Gearbox University. And just like normal university, I left with gonorrhea, a brand on my asshole, and a crippling fear of men that are bigger than me. Hey everybody, if you don't know me, I'm Randy Pitchford. Hey, aren't you the guy who watches porn of women pulling cards out of their vaginas? <laughs> is that, is that... Randy Pitchford has the personality of a forgotten cum sock. It's gonna be an amazing E3, um, uh, Borderlands the film is going to be absolutely incredible, uh, uh, we've got some cool stuff to show you. No one cares about the fucking Borderlands movie, and even less people care about Godfall. Next! Xbox Series Xbox. The Xbox E3 blew me the fuck away, with the big main event being the trailer for Bubsy 3D. <laughs> Um... Then Phil Spencer came out and gave us what we've all been asking for for years, and finally revealed his cock and balls. And they were beautiful. Everyone was encapsulated by the magnificence of Phil's genitalia. I myself was quite impressed, until Mr. Bill Microsoft himself came out and said, Get that shit out of here! And smacked Phil right on the penis. We gotta show the people what they came here to see! He then removed his shirt and revealed his big, beautiful breasts, from which Phil Spencer drank all of the milk. This was, of course, Xbox's brilliant way of announcing the new Halo game, in which you play as President Xi Jinping. And look, I know they're just trying to appeal to the Chinese market, but Come on! You get to play as the greatest person that Disney has ever produced. What does Sony have, huh? You think Sony can get she? She hates Sony. She ate Sony for breakfast. She is a Microsoft man all the way. That's why you couldn't find anything about Tiananmen Square on Bing for a while. They got each other's backs in an extremely gay way. And honestly, who are you to fucking judge? If Xi Jinping wants to be gay with Microsoft, who are you to get involved? Microsoft also showed off some of that good shit. Outer Worlds 2, Psychonauts 2, Stalker 2, Kangaroo, We Bought a Zoo! Yay! I'm telling you guys, if you don't have Game Pass, you might want to get it, just for We Bought a Zoo. Alright, Square Enix. The only thing I remember from Square is that they have that Guardians of the Galaxy game. And 
You didn't hear this from me, but it's gonna be mediocre at best. Warner Brothers, I can't fucking believe it. We're finally getting Left 4 Dead 3, except it's called Back 4 Blood. This game better be good, or I will fucking kill Bugs Bunny. I will fucking do it. Don't you dare test me. Verizon. Oh yeah, now we're on that good shit. Fucking Verizon at E3, like goddamn chocolate and peanut butter. I am so excited for all the new Verizons. Everything's gonna be 5G and augmented reality, which will totally make playing Crossy Road a better experience. All right, fucking Capcom! Capcom made that one game with the big-ass vampire bitch with sizable knockers. You know the one, fucking Rockman. What have they got now? New Ace Attorney? Monster fucker? Look, Capcom, if you don't mind, let me give you some pointers. Mano a mano, one man to another. Two circumcised adult men having a polite conversation in which I inform you that everything you are doing is wrong and you should kill yourself. Your games suck. You know why? Because they don't have Xi Jinping in them. Go back to Resident Evil 8 and replace that godless whore with Xi? I'm fucking sold. But until then, I guess you can go back to making your weird fucking anime games where you have sex with big ass dinosaurs. PC gaming show. I'm not gonna lie, some of this stuff looks pretty good. I'm down for Orcs Must Die 3, and Dying Light 2 keeps on looking good. But let's talk about these fucking vampire games. I am a huge fan of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. In fact, I think it's one of the best RPGs of all time. And all I want are vampire games with compelling narratives. And ever since Paradox fired Brian Mitsoda, my hopes for this franchise have been in the goddamn toilet. I'm open to these games surprising me, but I'm not fucking expecting anything good. That being said, this Blood Hunt game looks generic as fuck and probably won't be as good as Redfall. And Swan Song didn't show much, but might be all right? God, what's next? A fucking battle royale? Oh shit, I'm giving them ideas. Don't you fucking make that! All right, now that all the bullshit is out of the way, it's time for the main event. What we've all been waiting for. God damn, Nintendo! A thick and veiny thank you to the wonderful workforce who have been working extremely long days in the hot Russian sun without any sunscreen or bear repellent in my cherry orchard. You are all amazing, but I swear if you so much as drop a single cherry, I will not hesitate to bring back Sharia law. Last week, I received word that one of my precious workers had fallen ill. I immediately grabbed my University of Phoenix online medical degree and went to diagnose the issue. The worker said that they had been experiencing violent stomach cramps. Ever since they began, their government issued all cherry diet, trying to insinuate that my cherries were the problem. So, I did what any self-respecting doctor would do when faced with a potential conflict of interest. I immediately called the KGB and told them that someone had placed a bomb inside of this worker and that it needed to be removed immediately. So, the KGB cut the worker open with the sharpest plastic knife I could find in the nearest trash can and vigorously search through the worker's intestines for the aforementioned bomb. But thankfully, there was no such bomb to be found. Just an abundance of sweet, delicious cherries, which I packed up for later consumption. Though, sadly, the patient did not survive. But Worry not, for they shall be planted deep into the ground to bring new life 
to a beautiful cherry tree. There is no need to thank me. Just enjoy your all cherry diet.